Guardians of Fortune! The go yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking go! Do fucking! <laughs> After all these years! Hello, darkness, my old friend! Hello! It's been a cold ten minutes! <laughs> my old friend, I'm coming to you! Thank you! Who are you killing? Oh, that <laughs> felt so freaking great! <laughs> Let's go! Oh. Hello, hello, hello! Hi! Here we Hi. are again. <clears throat> it's been, uh, it's again. been a good day. Uh, we are currently... <laughs> As you have seen in the intro, we are currently matched up in an hourglass fight, so we have to be a little bit careful. Uh, last video, we, uh, as we were talking about all the ship movements and, and all that, we were uh, in Saver Seas actually recording. Yeah. Uh, currently, we are in high seas so that we can kill each other. So we can kill each other. It's very... He's it's, training me today. It's very good. Today, uh, maybe we you are... Can guess. We are going to talk about uh, weapons. You're really enjoying. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I almost, I almost choked on my water. You're really <laughs> enjoying that. God damn it! <laughs> I can do it too. Let's get going. <laughs> Righty. Right here is the most important box of today. This is the armory. In there you can find four different types of weapons. You have the Cutlass, the Flintlock, the Blunderbuss, and the Eye of Rich. That's a very nice Cutlass you got there. Thank you, my dear sir. Let's let's start with the Cutlass, actually. Okay. Right. So, uh, the Cutlass is actually a short or mid-range weapon, which is very versatile this is the most versatile weapon in the game um every slash that you do so every time you you hit me exactly it is you can hit me again you can okay you, you can yes you can one hit more me again. time yep you I can hit that. me again one more time so every slash that you hit get uh, deals the opponent 25 percent of damage so four four hits with the normal sword hit or the sword slash is 25 percent of the opponent's health or your enemy's health another thing that you can do with uh, the sword is of course blocking so if you try to hit me and when i'm holding my block and actually i jump back exactly like after three so times. after three times you get separated, and I get an opportunity to slash back or to gain control of the situation. While blocking, you can also perform a jump, which is more and a little bit different than the normal jumping. So if you try that, so hold block and jump, and press forward, and jump. I can jump. Yep, yeah, you can jump. See? It's a yeah, very I'm I'm like, it's, it's a very I'm small like jump. Yeah. But what it does, if you are an enemy, uh, stand still for a second. Okay. Let me show you. If you are an enemy, I, right now I am pressing the walk button, but I cannot walk through enemies. But with this jump, I can go through the enemy. If you try. Seriously. Yeah. So okay. hold uh, hold stand. block or just walk into me. And, and then perform the jump. See? Oh my god! And then I just like land behind you and then I can exactly. slash, of course. You can also uh, sword lunge. In order to do that, uh, there's actually two ways. There is the basic sword lunge and there is the more advanced sword lunge. So left mouse button is to slash. If you hold your left mouse button or your slash button, uh, it will perform the sword lunge. This is the basic sword lunge. Wait. There you go. Okay. 
It is. Uh, it deals 60% damage to your enemy. 60%. I want to try from you. It also, as you can see, it also knocks the enemy back. So you have a, a real good knockback on... Uh, on the sword as well, if you do a basic sword lunge. Yeah, but I knock him out. I knock him off the chip, and then I, ha I still have to finish him off. Yeah, that's true, and that's when you learn with a weapon, w with the rest, rest of the weapons. But it will be all right. So okay. the sword lunge, basic one. Uh, you press and hold your uh, attack uh, button, and there you go. So the more advanced and the more useful sword lunge is uh, is performed by first holding your block button so that's the right mouse button like this like this exactly you hold it and then you perform a normal sword lunge so i press them together exactly okay and now so it seems it, it seems the same for you but the thing with the advanced sword lunge is that while holding and uh, charging your sword lunge, you can move around. Which is very helpful. Thank you. Oh, I killed you. Wait, I'm reviving. Thank you. Which is very helpful to basically position yourself and to uh, make sure that you hit your sword lunge as well. Uh, and also, uh, yeah, thank you. And also, as you as you could see me doing, if you if you time the uh, the jump exactly right, you can jump very very far. So that's the more advanced sword lunge that you can do. So okay. block yeah. first, then charge. You can still move around and you can jump while you are sword lunging. Uh, this advantage. This is vengeance. This advantage of sword lunging is that when you miss your enemy, so if you if you can shoot, when you miss your enemy, yep. you will be stunned. So you have you have a, a moment where you where you can't do anything. If you if you try that, you have to move away. Oh yeah, I'm like panting actually. Yeah, you are. Um, you are also seeing the animation, if you can do it again. You can also see the animation on your enemy that uh, he or she missed the sword lunge. That's it, that's it. So in that moment, uh, when you are attacking, you know that he or she is very, very vulnerable to being attacked because they cannot do anything. Uh, and it can be a great use to your advantage. But can't I even uh, like defend myself, like block? Nope. If you, you try that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Oh yeah. So you, you really, really you really anything, cannot yeah. do anything. So it's a real uh really disadvantage if you miss your your enemy and you are boarded on someone's ship. It's a uh, well, it's 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 bad. But the basic sword lunge doesn't do that. Yeah, it does it as well. Oh yeah. I'm just, yeah. It seems shorter, but maybe that's like my own yeah, no. illusion. It's the it's the same length. Okay, so in order to to cope with that, is uh, just just stay there for a second. Um, if you are, and that's why it's very useful to do the advanced sword lunge. If you are moving around and you see, I'm going to sorry, <laughs> I'm going to miss my uh, my opponent or my my enemy. Uh, you can grab something on the on the ship to cancel your sword lunge. So if you are moving around and you see, you notice that you will miss your enemy or there's no more enemy around, uh, you can grab a cannon, you can grab a harpoon or you can grab uh, the steering or wheel. Or even like clicking a bell, for example? No, that doesn't work. You really have to grab it. You, so okay. grabbing the wheel, the, cannon, the cannons or uh, the harpoon will cancel your sword lunge. So, if you then oh, yeah. so so if you then miss, you will not get stunned. So you just move it around and nope, never mind. See? Oh yeah, it's like your sword lunge actually into the cannon you are 
you are holding. Exactly. And if you double That's tap very F smart. very quickly, uh, you will you will not notice that that you have basically missed it because this animation is not that yeah not that uh, long. So it's a it's a lot better than uh, getting stunned basically. All right, then we are going for the flintlock. So a good thing about the flintlock. Just pick pick whatever flintlock. Yeah, I have one. Uh, so the flintlock is uh, again a mid-range weapon. So it's not for long ranges. It's it, it can be used for short range, but it, it's best and intended as a mid-range weapon. Um, if you hit me, hit. there you go. Uh, it deals fifty-five percent damage. So two hits so with the I only need to hit you twice. Is enough to kill me? Yes, I I I'm full. Thank you. Are you full health? Uh, yep, yeah, I am. So that's actually like one and two. Yep. So fifty-five percent of damage. Uh, something that the flintlock is very capable of is hip firing. So, if you don't know. Uh, hip fire is shooting without aiming. So, like, like that exactly. But I missed actually. Yeah, that's more of a skill issue. Thank you. <laughs> um, so, see, there you go. So the flintlock is the best weapon for hip fires. It's the most accurate. Uh, but keep in mind that it's best at mid range again. Also, but I uh, had to get like very close. So is this mid range? No, no, no. You can, you can. It's actually like quite close. Back. I can still Wait. get you from there. Oh, come revive me, please. I'm trying to guess like what's a good way to to shoot somebody without aiming. So it's like they have to stay in the center of your of your screen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that that's actually like quite uh, quite nice. Yeah. Keep in mind that this. That this weapon is very unreliable as a long range weapon. It has if you if you shoot it in the distance, like shoot try to shoot at the at the rock there and see what the pellet is doing. It curves it curves downwards quite a bit. Yeah. So I that's why you, you have to still keep it in a in a short in a, in a mid or short range. So it doesn't have the time to curve. Or if you get more experience with the uh, with the flintlock, you will learn about the curvature of your weapon, and you can use it that way. But that's that's down the line. You need more experience and practice before that. Um, something something that that is also good about the flintlock is uh, that it reloads. So if you are uh, if you if you shot, you need to reload your weapon. Uh, it reloads the fastest of all the weapons. At this range, uh, so a little bit, I, I would say at this range, uh, a hip fire is perfect, perfectly good. Uh, if you go a little bit further away, I'm I'm mostly using my aim just to be sure. So for the for the flintlock, thank yeah. you. Uh, for the flintlock, there is of course different types. If you have a look at your armory, um, every type has a little different uh, s uh, aiming site. So the, the little dot where you see where you are shooting. Some are more precise than others. And you really have so to like just... So like the sailor... The sailor is, is actually really, really horrendous. Quite decent. No. No, not really. I mean, if you know, if you know where to shoot, you can shoot it. But like, uh, for me, the... the the ruffian sea dog is pretty good. It has a nice triangle, uh, triangle shape, and it's pretty good. And you can just just stand at various distances and try to shoot the bell. I mean, 
if you hear it, you know that it's accurate and that you are hitting it. And if you feel confident, you can go up here and shoot the bell in the crow's nest. So stand on top no. of the uh, of the canopy here. You can. Nope. It's a uh, it's a bit harder. There you go. So sometimes I'm just like hitting the half the half of them. Okay, maybe I shouldn't get my cutlass out. Well, of of course. I mean, you should because when you are fighting, you are always combining all of your weapons that that are available yeah. to you. So of course you should, or you can just get your cutlass out and and slash someone up. Um, but yeah. So, pistol, uh, a good mid-range weapon, deals 55% of damage, is uh, good at hip fires, like that. But it is a little bit unreliable for, uh, for longer range. Let's get to the blunderbuss. So, the blunderbuss is, um, is a short-range weapon. So, the closer you are to an object, the better. Um, every shot that you do, if you just shoot in the open... So like here? Yeah. Uh, you can see that that when you shoot when, when you are shooting, uh, pellets come out of your blunderbuss. Yeah. Every time one pellet hits, it deals ten percent damage, and you have ten pellets in your blunderbuss. So if all pellets hit you, it's an instant kill. That's the. Are you full health? That's the one blunder. Here comes the one blunder. So like. There you go. But it has to be very close. It has to be close so because... Otherwise you will like shatter the, the pellets. Exactly, because the, the pellets, they spread out. And they are unevenly spreading out. So if you hit me like from here... You can just shoot from there, it's fine. Will not kill me. So, what it does... Where did you jump? I did not jump. That's the knockback of the weapon. So the same as the sword lunge. If you if you hit someone with a blunderbuss, uh, they will get knocked back, or they will experience. But the back. flintlock didn't do that, right? No, the flintlock doesn't. This is a very powerful weapon, so you you really jump away and or you really get knocked back. Uh, a lot behind, yeah. So especially when when people are boarding, uh, and you are like here is and they are coming up. Uh, you shoot, you are sailing that way, they get knocked back or get killed. It's a, it's a good defense a good defense method. Okay, I'm coming up. See? There you go. You didn't even kill me, so like... Yeah, it doesn't... You only it, needed it, to hit me from the side. And then I will just completely knock You really off. don't have to hit or to kill someone. If you are sailing and, and you get knocked off behind the ship... It's it's over with your boarding attempt. So can you maybe get on the ladder or save me and then get on the ladder? I want to try uh, blunderbussing you from yeah, sure. from like the side. So you are coming. I know you will be very quick, but for the sake of training, like. Right. But I didn't knock you off. Yeah, just one pallet hit me, and that doesn't do the trick. So you have to be on the ledge and really hit me. That was not a good one again. Uh, I need to eat, actually. It's actually quite hard to know where to, where your edge is without so without falling, falling of the falling of the ship. Just stand here, where you really can see the the ladder. So just stand close. Okay, and maybe then if you move, I can get closer. And like. That's it. Oh yeah. See, so really see how far. Close? See how far you knock me. Actually, like, Shoot. if 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 the ship is sailing, you won't even be able to board anymore. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, by Can the you way. Maybe get some fruit. Uh, by the way, if you are sword launching in the water, it gives you a nice, nice speedy motion. You will. You will be very far in the water when you sword launch into but the water. But then you have to do the advanced one, otherwise you won't get that far, right? Um, I, I don't actually know. I, I always do the advanced one. It's just, it's just my muscle memory by now. But 
I think I think the more advanced one helps helps because you can jump as well and that gives even more speed. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, so the blunderbuss, um, again, it's a short-range weapon. It has 10 pellets, uh, which each deal 10% of uh, damage on your enemy. So, one shot with all the pellets hit, the one shot blunder, or the, or the, uh, the one blunder, uh, is, a, is just a, a kill, basically. Uh, it yeah. gives you a good knockback when not all the pellets hit, or it doesn't kill you, but... A, a, a couple pellets hit you. It gives you a good knockback. Uh, but it is very, very ineffective as a long range. And we call that the blunder snipe. Blunder snipe. There we go. So the Eye of Reach is a long range weapon. But can be used as a mid or short range as well. Uh, but it's mostly intended as the long range weapon. Uh, if you hit me with the, uh, with the Eye of Reach... So there you go. It deals 70% damage. So that's quite substantial. There you go. Um, it, is, it, it is a very accurate weapon when you scope. So if you look through the scope, it gives you this broken glass. And the middle or where it all comes together, that's the center of your eye reach. That's where it's going to shoot. Uh, so it's very, very accurate when you are using the uh, when you are using the scope. Uh, a hip fire with the eye of reach, not a freaking chance. Ready? N nothing. So there is a disadvantage if you are uh, if you are trying to be stealthy with the eye of reach. Uh, whenever you scope. The uh, eye of reach will reflect the sun or the moonlight, giving you, uh, giving your position away from afar, so they can see like a light sh brightening up, and they will see that you are scoping at them. There, see, you can see it now. Do you see my but my light? Is... Yeah, I can see your light, and I think you can see mine. Yep. So that's the that's the sun or the moon reflecting through the scope and it gives you a way like that. 